Good morning. Today is Wednesday, February 25th, 2015. I am Precious Wilson and I'm in Ms. Durham's fifth grade class. Grades K through three are on special day two. Grades four and five are on special day one. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us now say the school pledge. Today I will make the choice to have a good day. I will strive to be the best I can be. I respect all adults, fellow students, and myself. I am accountable for my words and my actions. It is my responsibility to learn something new. I enter to learn and a part to serve. I am a proud Kimberly Singer. Let us now say the no place for hate promise. I promise to do my best to treat everyone fairly. I promise to do my best to be kind to everyone, even if they are not like me. If I see someone being hurt or bullied, I will tell a teacher. Everyone should be able to feel safe and happy in school. I want our school to be no place for hate. Please pause for quiet reflections. Thank you. You may be seated. The Ella Kimberly career word is salary. A salary is a payment to a worker for labor before perform or services provided. Today for lunch we are having taco bar, whole grain cheese quesadilla, diced turkey salad with crackers, stewed black beans, me Mexicali corn and bananas. Sounds delicious to me. What is a robot's favorite snack? Computer chip. <laughs> <laughs> and now for a few words of wisdom. Good morning, Kimberly Elementary. This is Mr. Arnold with a few words of wisdom. Pablo Casasas was a world famous Spanish musician and writer. Now listen to these words he wrote in a piece titled you are a marvel. Do you know what you are? You are a marvel. You are unique. In all the years that have passed, there has never been another young person like you. Your legs, your arms, your clever fingers, the way you move, you may become a Shakespeare, a Michelangelo, or a Beethoven. Yes, you are a marvel. And when you grow up, can you then harm another who is like you? A marvel? Pablo Casasas is saying that each one of you is filled with wonder. Each one of you is special. So how can you grow up and be hurtful to someone else who is special? One of a kind person too. Today, let's treat each other like the special one of a kind human beings we are and always search for kind and peaceful ways to live together with something to think about this is mr arnold make it a great day or not the choice is yours here are the books of the month for this month grades kindergarten and one are reading bad kitty grades two and three are reading click clack moo cows that type all books are only one dollar you may bring your money to Miss Saunders in the Media Center. You will get your book when your class comes to the Media Center to read this book together. There are still a few books available from last month. Just stop by and see Miss Saunders in the Media Center. Good morning, Kimberly Stingers. This is Mrs. Saunders in the Media Center. Let me tell you about some more books that we have written by a poet, Langston Hughes. He's a famous African-American poet. One of the books that we have is called The Sweet and Sour Animal Book. And you know, even though these are poetry books, they're still accelerated reader books. So you can read them and earn your AR points. So here's one of the poems written by Langston Hughes. There was a fish with a greedy eye who darted toward a big green fly. Alas, that fly was bait on a hook. So the fisherman took the fish home to cook. Poor fish. But lucky for the fishermen, huh? 
So this poem did rhyme, but there's some other poems written by Langston Hughes that don't rhyme, but they tell wonderful stories. This other poetry book we have written by Langston Hughes is called The Block. The illustrations on here, it's a collage of pictures, are pretty awesome. So come by the Media Center and check out some of our poetry books by Langston Hughes. See you in the Media Center. Monday, March 2nd, is a very special day. This is the day we celebrate the birth of the author of the Dr. Seuss books. This day is our Dr. Seuss Read Across America Day. What are we doing here at our school? We have a special guest coming in to give us a cool presentation about the importance of reading. Grades pre-K through second performance will be at 8 a.m. in the auditorium. Grades 3 through 5 will begin at 9 p.m. 9 in the auditorium. This just in. Monday morning after your performance, stop by the media center and you can purchase green eggs and ham. Not the book. The real thing. Green eggs and ham. Bring one dollar and you can have some delicious breakfast. This Thursday, our after-school program will present a fabulous Black History program. It begins at 6 o'clock. This program is going to be fabulous. You don't want to miss it. Snack Attack is this Friday. Come prepared to attack the snacks. Do you or someone you know have costumes, dress-up clothes, or accessories that don't fit or aren't played with anymore? The K-Kids of Kimberla are asking for you to help their service project. They're collecting these items to donate to the children at Eggleston Children's Hospital who are going through cancer treatments. Their treatments are often hard and we believe that giving them fun co costumes, dress-up clothes, and accessories will lift their spirits. Please bring our new, new and gently used costumes dress up clothes and accessories and put them in the marked box near the front door of the school. We will be collecting these items until March 16th. Thank you in advance from K-Kids of Kimberly Elementary. This Friday is our Black History Live Wax Museum. All participants, please be sure to have your parts memorized and your costumes ready. If you need any items for your costume, please don't wait until it's too late to contact Ms. Hudson or Ms. Saunders. Hello, my name is Isabella Burnfrey, but you may know me by Sojourner Truth. I was born in New York around 1797. I was a slave and escaped with my infant daughter in free to freedom. In 1826, I was an African-American abolitionist and women's rights activist, but my best known speech on racial inequalities, Ain't I a Woman, was delivered in 1856, 51 at the Ohio Women's Rights Convention. I died at my home in Battle Creek, Michigan on November 26, 1883. I am Sojourner Truth. Congratulations to our very own first place elementary school division science fair winner, Kyla Sewell. We are so proud of you and all of your efforts and your smart science technique. Congratulations. Happy birthday to all my friends and celebrate birthday today. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for the birthday cake for Mr. Challenge. Happy birthday. Have a wonderful Wednesday at Ella Kimberly Elementary School. And remember, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe.